Well, look at this. Joy is in season. The roller coasters are decorated. The windows are dressed. Santa Snoopy has arrived. And we're back. At Knott's Mary Farm. Of all of the farms in Southern California, this is the Christmasiest one that I know. Where the screams of terror are mixed with the oohs and ahs of wonder. And if you think it looks cute now. Just wait till you see what it looks like at night. Knott's Mary Farm is that wonderful time of year where Ghost Town is transformed into a Christmas. Marketplace full of stalls selling Christmas wares, and everything gets transformed with garlands and poinsettias and wreaths everywhere. And of course, best of all, at nighttime, wonderful, wonderful lights and beautiful, sexy artificial Christmas snow. There are so many wonderful. Christmas and holiday themed crafts on offer here. Not to mention lots and lots of Christmas treats. Not only the usual Knott's Berry Farm Fair, but also plenty of special holiday themed treats. Just be prepared to wait a little while because as you can see, the holiday food offerings here are very popular. Oh, listen, listen. Christmas carolers are here. There's nothing like some good Christmas carolers to put you right in the Christmas mood. Unfortunately, from just a few feet back, really, you can't hear them at all. They need to get those carolers some microphones. Well, I guess that's kind of hard to do in the old west. I love Knott's Mary Farm. Normally, I wouldn't come down to Knott's Mary Farm during the day, but I've got a special project in the works with the blacksmith. Something almost too hot to handle. In fact, it's so hot. We're not going to get a chance to handle it until next week, so we'll have to come back. Because I was just told by the other blacksmiths that it's not ready today. Darn it, and I was all set to blow your minds. Well, that's okay. There's still plenty to do out here at Knott's Merry Farm. After all, who could resist Christmas at Goldie's Place? These ladies know how to bring warmth, comfort, and cheer for the holidays. That is for sure. They are experts in the field and it must drive the prisoners in the jail crazy. To have them gals located so close by. And yet tantalizingly out of reach. Hello. Hello there, Joe! What you doing with that dude, Hickey? Oh, I'm just taking a peek at you through your bars. I was wondering something. What you wondering? Is it hard for you to sit there looking out this window all day at Goldie's place? Oh, you know, my body's so old it's stuck like this. Oh, really? Yeah. So I guess it doesn't matter. It don't. All right, well, happy holidays, Sad-Eye Joe. You too. Ah, poor old Joe. You steal one horse, and Goldie's is off limits to you forever. Now, speaking of horses, the livery stable over here may not have any of Santa's reindeer inside, but it does have the next best thing. A Christmas horse. Just one Christmas horse at the moment. At other times, they have a donkey in here named Brutus, and at this time of year, he becomes Brutus the Christmas donkey. But I guess we showed up a little bit late in the day, because at the moment, the only donkey in here is me. And I ain't the kind of donkey you want to hitch your wagon to, neither. You know, there's something over here in Ghost Town that nobody ever sees, but I can't help but notice every time I come in here, you know that ghost town grub building? The one right next door to Goldie's place. You ever notice how on the corner, facing the fireman's barbecue area of the park, is a birdhouse. A birdhouse surrounded by a lot of bottles. Even for a large birdhouse, that's a lot of hooch. Them birds must love to drink. You know what? Speaking of drinking, I don't mind the occasional beverage myself. Which is what fur you got the old original Calico Saloon. Named for this here Calico Square. Not for the ghost town, but that's a whole other story. Now, I don't normally imbibe liquor, and that means I don't get the specialty cocktails here. I also can't drink no beer because I got the celiac disease. Wow. But what's a can imbibe is a very high-toned, classy drink. The drink of champions. One sarsaparilla, please, bartender. Normally, I like to put my foot up on the brass rail and drink here at the bar. But I think today I'm going to enjoy my beverage upstairs. In the original 18. 80s party zone. Yes, sir, it's the finest beverage in the old west. Just gonna twist off the cap. And we're being business. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'd never do that, folks, but this here sarsaparilla is different nowadays. Knott's Berry Farm done started brewing their own sarsaparilla. And it don't taste near as good as the old Prairie Sunset style sarsaparilla I was used to. It ain't bad, but it ain't the same neither. Well, bottoms up, friend. That sarsaparilla kicks! Yes, sir, Christmas in the Old West was a place of peace and joy, but it was also a place for gambling and cussing and fighting. Not to mention gouging and...
and biting. Dang gum, this here sarsaparilla is so powerful I might do some gouging and biting of my own today. As everybody knows there ain't nothing quite like a good old fashioned Christmas gouging. In fact, I think the good old Christmas gouging has been coming back in recent years. Isn't that right, Fred? Oh, yes. These days, you bring up politics at the uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas table, and you might have a heck of a gouging. Certainly at least some Christmas biting. Well, sure, but we'd have that anyway. What? Weird. Well, folks, the shadows are getting awfully long in front of Judge Roy Bean's place. Soon, night will fall on Notch Mary Farm. And night is when the farm gets lit. Homie, it's a whole different world out here once they go full Christmas. And I am looking forward to seeing it again. As you can see, they've had a lot of Christmas festivities going on here in Knott's Merry Farm. Lots of shows, singers, and carolers. Some of them are quite elaborate. I mean, just look at this setup over here on the outdoor stage for the Home for the Holidays show. Knott's has really upped the production value in recent years. And that's not the only place they've done it. The decor, the food offerings, the entertainment, it all seems to go up a notch, or up a notch, every single year. Hidden Snoopy. And of course, ever since they added the new ride. Knott's Berry Tales return to the fair. This back portion of the park has been very, very popular. But it's even more popular during the holiday season, not just because they decorate this area with some pretty cool boysenberry ornaments, Knott's Berry Farm, of course, having much to do with the origin of the boysenberry, but also because the Walter Knott Theater back here is home to maybe the best and at least the most popular show, Snoopy's Night Before Christmas. Christmas. I've been standing here for like five minutes and there are still people coming out of that theater from the last showing. It's very popular. Good thing they have their new pizzeria ready down here this year. Because these people look hungry. There's a lot going on out here. Lots to do, lots to see, lots to eat, lots to drink. Knott's Merry Farm has always been cool. It's always been a good time. But it's even more popular now than it ever was in previous years. I mean, since the pandemic, Knott's is a lot more crowded with people who maybe classically would have gone to other theme parks or people who hadn't been to Knott's in a long time. But during the pandemic, I have to tell you, Knott's Berry Farm did the best stuff. They had all of those food festivals when every other place was closed. They found a way to open up very very safely and responsibly their doors to the community. I mean, the park and every farmer slash employee in it really showed their love for the community. And the people of Southern California have responded in kind. And look at the size of those crowds over there and where other theme parks have been making cuts to their quality, to their friendliness, to their offerings, to their staff. I feel like Knott's Berry Farm has done the exact opposite. That is a long-term trend. So I'm telling you, for the last at least 10 years or so, the quality at Knott's Berry Farm has has done nothing but go up. A trend I would really like to see continue. Now, if only we could get rid of all those basketballs in the park, huh? You know what I'm talking about? Well, if not, you haven't been to Knott's in a while, dude. Look right. at the guessing game. No, not the game. Look at the prizes. They're all plush Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer prizes. A bumble. Wait a minute. That's not a real bumble. Questions. Real bumbles bounce. Now I'm here on one of them teenager days at the park right now. Knott's uh, had to implement a chaperone policy this year on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays and on special events like at Knott's Scary Farm. Those are some past incidents with the out-of-control teenagers this year at the park. Except on very few weekdays, the underage uh, folks are no longer allowed to wander the park at random. So I haven't seen any teenagers here for a while and now I'm seeing hordes of them today. It's pretty crazy. Just look at that. Look at all of them go. There's more kids here than at my kid's high school. I gotta tell you too, I'm conflicted about the chaperone policy. It does make the park nicer and safer. I get it. But I also have a 15 year old that I bought a Knott's Berry Farm pass for so that he could come here with his friends without me. And as a former 15 year old who also came to the park unchaperoned a lot, I can tell you that would have been a bummer to me. Although, full disclosure, I was getting up to hijinks in the parks at uh, 15 as well, so maybe it's for the best. Although, thank God, luckily for me, it doesn't seem like so far anyway. My kid gets up to the hijinks that I used to get up to. Ooh. Anyhow, we are now entering 
Fiesta Village. Or I should say, what's left of Fiesta Village. Look, it's gutted. And I'm in strip to the bone on both sides of the road here. So if you were hoping for a little bit of Navidad action over here, you would be disappointed this year. But that's because we're getting an all new Fiesta Village next year in 2023. One going back to the original spirit of Fiesta Village when there were all the little shops and the original paint scheme. It definitely has needed a refresh in recent years and I'm glad that it's finally going to get one. Fiesta Village will be mucho mejor. I just hope they preserve the singing murals over here. Oh, look at this on the Camino de Real. Nestled amongst the missions. Something Walter Nod would have wholly approved of. The traditional Christmas manger. The three wise men from the east bringing him gifts of gold and frankincense and under the miraculous Christmas star. And boy, he looks surprised to get presents. Especially that myrrh. Which reminds me, I have never once in my life owned any myrrh that I know of anyway. I've had little pieces of frankincense he used for incense, like on an old censer, like a church style censer. And I've seen plenty of gold, although let's face it, I've never had any. But I don't even know that I've ever seen any myrrh around. However, you never know what you can find out at Knott's Mary Farm. So maybe we'll get lucky and find some over here in one of these booths, huh? After all, they got all kinds of other spices. And frankincense is incense. Gold is gold, obviously. Where must be some kind of oil, I'm guessing. Maybe some kind of fragrant oil of some kind, you know? Did I just say some kind of fragrant oil of some kind? I did. Well, luckily, earlier, I noticed this booth here, Zodiac Scents. And they've got peace, love, and oils. Which is all three Christmas essentials. Hello, you don't have any myrrh, do you? All right, it was sort of a long story, but basically, they normally do have frankincense and myrrh oil. But at the moment, they're completely sold out except for one little vial, which is destined for another customer. I asked if I could smell it just to see what myrrh smells like. But she said, unfortunately, it's already sealed and it's for a customer that has cancer and there's a whole nice story behind it. But she can custom make some for the future. And not only that, check this out. They've got candles over here. Soda candles. That's genius. She also did tell me that myrrh is a sap, a type of sap. And uh, now that she said that, I feel like I have actually seen myrrh somewhere before, because I did know that at one point. Still can't for the life of me remember what myrrh smells like, though, so... The quest continues. All right, it's still not dark out here. And I'm not gonna lie, of course, it's so much cooler looking here at night, so I'm gonna have to pull a little magic here. All right, ready? All right, one, two, Wow, look at that. See, it's so much better. And now somehow I've got a sweater. Knott's Mary Farm by Night is one of the best sites in Southern California, that is for sure. And it gets even more glorious later on when that fake snow starts to fall out here. Look at this wacky reindeer right there. <laughs> There's a whole flock of wacky reindeer. Uh oh, here it comes. It's coming any second. The first snow of the evening. Oh! Give it. Yay! Christmas time in the old west. Even the blacksmiths are jolly. Now to check out some of the swag. Oh, great Scott. Look at the sporins. Aye, a Christmas sporin. That's what I'd like. First, I've got to get a new kilt. I outgrew mine. 
literally. See, look at this. Who does not love knots? Nobody, that's who. The only bad part about Christmas stuff is that every year I see a bunch and I want to buy it for people for Christmas. But if it's Christmas themed and they get it on Christmas, they won't really be able to use it until the next year, you know? Oh my gosh, look at all of these. They're so cute. Look at the little Santa. Ooh, there are so many. Oh, look at that. That is great. Look at that little avocado. Look at these. They're all handmade. Look at that. A mermaid. That's the lady that sells the myrrh. Ooh, and there's your Instagram. Look at that. So if people want to get it from afar, they can. Oh, and here's an old standard, an old favorite. And my friend who runs this very fine booth over here was the original inventor of the knitted boysenberry pie hat. Often imitated and duplicated. How rude. I was just saying you invented the boysenberry pie hat. Yes! Now what are you doing? We're making slime. Oh, you're making slime! <laughs> Christmas slime! Christmas slime with Christmas charms. Aww. And all sorts of Finally, something to buy, Grandpa. Oh, look how cute the earrings are. Always stop by Miss Doolittle's. Oh, boy. Somebody's got knitted Christmas tree hats out here. Knott's is the place if you want weird knitted hats. Christmas wings! Or wait, even more knitted hats. Ooh, a gingerbread one. I've been coming to see most of these vendors for years and years. So now at this point, most of them are very friendly with me, you know, because uh, we're all familiar faces. And I've been a long time customer. Look at these over here. Boysenberry fire starters. Oh, pine cones covered in wax. With a wick, you can light it, get it going in your fire. Smells like boysenberry. Look at these scented cupcake yeah, they're sticks. And the smelly pies are back in a good way, in a good way. These are all potpourri things or smelly things, like good smelling decor. They look so, so real. <laughs> I'm afraid to get gluten. Those are some awfully tasty looking treats, even if you can't eat them. But I've been here for a while and now I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm after something you can eat. So I found one of my favorite booths at any not event so I can get my favorite peanuts. The ah so spicy. And ah they are so spicy. Mm. Alright, time to go into the bottle house where they sell only the finest and most epic ceramics. Including these handmade ceramic Christmas trees that you can find in all of Orange County. Look at this. That is so old school right there. That's Santa Claus. You can even come in here and custom paint them yourself. They even have kits available to go. And as any Knight Rider fan can tell you, you can't go wrong with Christmas kits. Oh, look at that. So beautiful, so charming, so cute out here, it's really alarming. Yes, sir, now it truly feels like Christmas. Because it's getting cold. We've been having those weird 80 degree days and 40 degree nights. And it's not the temperature that'll get you, it's the drop. So many wonderful things. Like, look at all the custom blown glass. You can get a hand blown Christmas snowman or a psychedelic gnome. Just watch out for those mushrooms. Look what they've done to this panda. He's doped out of his gourd. Christmas jelly. Fish, just like they have in Bikini Bottom. What's not Pink to love? If you hang around long enough, you can actually see them make some of the various custom glass pieces. The guy they've got out here tonight is a heck of a demonstrator, let me tell you. He's explaining the whole process from start to finish. Just goes to show you that not everything educational is boring. Someone should have told my high school. Oh, honey, look! Eh? Eh? See? See what the buzz is all about? Look at this, they've got weird Christmas teas. Boysenberry iced tea, Santa's iced tea, hot tea. Ooh, and you can mix in all kinds of boba. The only tea they don't serve up here is Mr. Tea. And I pity the fool that doesn't like Mr. Tea. Look at this, the perfect gift for any member of the family. Skeleton Elvis. Ooh, Skelvis. Now over here in the Birdcage Theater, they have a presentation of... A Christmas Carol. Not just a lady named Carol, of course. But the famous play based on the story by Charles Dickens. Of course, as soon as I say Charles Dickens at Christmas time, all I can think of is Gonzo the Great. And the Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh my gosh, there's something so festive over here. Look at this! A Christmas coffin! What a fun one! There's nothing more festive than being dead. Now, I'd love to head inside the old toy shop. I mean, that's a perfect Christmas destination. But of course, it's only a classic Knott's Berry Farm Pekin. It's one of the very few things Knott's is missing. A true toy shop, number one, and a hat shop. 
They need a good cowboy hat shop in the park. Wow, look at these cool ornaments. And look at these guys. I told you. I told you there was nothing more festive than being dead. At least at Knott's Merry Farm. It's great because almost anywhere you turn your head or stop to get a bite to eat. You're going to find live music and entertainment. You're going to see nifty gifties. Creepy crystals for Christmas witchcraft. And of course, Illuminati stuff. Strange and unusual artwork. Beads, jewelry, healing stones. And if you can stand and carry yourself away from all the fun things. on them. You can even find yourself some Christmas chainsaw carvings. Look at that penguin right there. Every time I see chainsaw carvings, I think, man, I'm just doing it wrong because a skilled chainsaw artist, which is a rare thing, can crank one of these out much faster than carving by hand with little chisels or carving knives. And yet they charge much more than I charge for some of my carvings. I mean, would you believe that? To be fair, though, some of these are much, much better than anything I could make. I mean, look at this. There's a whole dolphin bench right there. I've never made a dolphin bench. Look at the size of this thing. And they carved it like this on porpoise. Ooh, I almost always forget about Santa's Christmas cabin where they got all them gussied up Christmas treats. Christmas cookies, Scrooge's salted caramel bread pudding, cocoa and marshmallows, wonderful seating arrangements, and of course, best of all, jolly old Saint Nick himself. I'm not sure, but I think that's the real Santa Claus right there. Ooh, I hope I get a chance to sit in his lap this year. I don't need any more stuff, really. Well, maybe I could send him a letter asking for some Hotels.com gift cards or something. Ooh, or gas cards. Everybody needs those. Isn't that right, Hiram? Ah, uh, you know what else might be good, though? I completely forgot. Maybe I should ask for some Christmas tobacco. Mmm. These things are nuts! Now, as much fun as I've been having in Ghost Town, and believe me, especially now that things have calmed down somewhat over here, that is a heck of a lot of fun. I'm enjoying myself more than a pair of llama pajamas. Coming in here and seeing some of this merchandise reminds me there's a whole part of the park we haven't even set foot into yet. A part of the park that at Christmas is much better in the dark. No, 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 not the wagon camp. Although that's more epic in the dark as well. I'm talking about a different camp. Snoopy, a place that has become, over the years, one of the most classically Christmas-like fleck and holiday decoration-filled parts of the park. They've got that cool Peanuts Christmas jazz playing in the background. In the daytime, they have cute Peanuts-themed shows. But at nighttime like this, it's just, I don't know so laid back. I'm not much of a laid back guy. I've never been known as that. But I do enjoy the shift change into Camp Snoopy. And even though the characters aren't present at night, it's still a wonderful and quite cozy place to wander. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we're getting into it. Look at this, my friends. Look at all of the wonderfully festive, dazzling lights. I know they're just a bunch of strands of LEDs around the tree trunks. But I don't care. Something about this is gorgeous. I love coming out here for Christmas date nights. Oh! And by the way, I should mention that one of the best things about Mary Farm is that you don't need any kind of separate ticket to come out and enjoy this. And if you have a Knott's Berry Farm annual pass or season pass, which by the way, are, in my opinion, are highly underpriced. I mean, they are a value. All right, I'll put it plainly. They're cheap. You don't need any kind of reservation to come down here at all. You can just pop right in for the merriment. Knott's Berry Farm treats its pass holders right, let me tell you. Whew! No reservation, no separate ticket necessary. You just stroll right on in here to the Candy Cane River and enjoy yourself. It's a nice place to cuddle and canoodle and reconnoiter and conjugate verbs, maybe. I mean, look at this. What even is all this? Man, that's epic. What a place, you guys. What a place. You know, Knott's Berry Farm got short shrift from people for years, and I gotta be the first one to admit that 10 or 15 years ago, things weren't looking good around here, and every time the rumor came up that they were gonna sell this park to make condos on the property, and back then a lot of people would just shrug and go, eh, whatever. The park was sort of in disrepair. The charm from the Knott family owning it had kind of worn off. But I don't know what happened. Sometime, somewhat recently, in the last decade, 
whoever they put in charge. Maybe it was some sort of management change. Who knows? Things out here just started to get better and better and better. And it's exciting because now there's a whole new generation of kids, local kids that is growing up with Knott's Berry Farm memories. The same way the generations before them did. All right, gang, well, we're at the borders of Camp Snoopy now, the far side. And I don't see any reason to go into Unfinished Fiesta Village again tonight. So maybe it's best if we move on to another area, but I gotta tell you, if you're coming out here, especially later in the evening once the kiddie rides close down over here, this is the perfect place to grab a hot chocolate or one of those Christmas treats on offer and take a Christmas stroll with a loved one. Now that I've said all that, I'm starting to get lonely. Oh, these peanuts are making me thirsty. All right. Time to head home from camp. After all, the most beautiful girl in the world is at my home right now. And as much as I love Knott's Mary Farm, it's not like I won't be coming back this season. Especially because I have unfinished business with the old blacksmiths. And you know, the crazy part is, is I was told by one of the smithies that's currently working. Hey, fellas. Ooh, hey. Merry Christmas. That I only missed the smithy I was looking for by like 10 minutes. And you know who I was talking to right before I walked in the gate for like 10 minutes? Jeff Heimbach. He totally Heimbucked me. Well, anyway, we have plenty more chances to see sparks fly out here. Christmas sparks, that is. When we return. But until then, my friends, I must say for now. We've done our duty. You can go home and sleep well. Happy holidays. Stay tuned here. The other channel, Patreon, Instagram, all the links are down below. Keep an eye out for new merch. Heading to our online store soon. Blah, blah, blah. See, this is why I don't like doing this. I don't like making commercials. You guys know the drill. Love you all. Happy holidays. Before they built that there stage, the dancing girls in the Calico Saloon would do their dancing upstairs. It's a stick where I like to do all of my dancing. Nothing like a little scooty pooping. And a special Christmas thank you to all our patrons on Patreon. This scooty poops for you. 